Today we're going to look at the recently released CX2 Solid State Drive by Team Group. This drive is part of their classic lineup and may be one of the least expensive drives on the market at the current moment. How does it perform? Does it have a place in your system setup? Let's find out. I originally was not going to review this drive, having picked up the extreme version not too long ago. But while visiting Newegg, I must have stumbled across a flash sale because I was able to purchase this one terabyte drive for $69. That's the lowest price I've seen for an SSD of this size, so I thought why not? Let's take a look at it. The drive is rated for a performance of 540 and 490 megabytes per second for its respected read and write speeds. One should expect that most drives will achieve their advertised specs, but nonetheless, it's nice to see it in action. Here we have the drive slightly exceeding the goal. In a previous video, I tested the EX2 drive, which is listed to have slightly better performance. While that is noticeable, compared to the CX2, it's very minimal. The CX2 looks to be an update from the previously released GX2 last year, with a very small bump in performance. Taking a step back and seeing how the prices for the SATA interface drives have been coming down in price, it looks like the day of affordable 1TB drives are here to stay, while the smaller 256 and 512 drives are going to soon be forgotten or simply reserved for OS drives. Now if we take a closer look at the different drives on the market, one may argue the justification for the more expensive drives. Maybe they use different memory components, perhaps a longer warranty, but ultimately they all do the same thing. They simply store our data. What about DRAM, you may ask? No, this drive does not have it, but uses advanced SLC caching technology instead. It's this feature which I expect contributes to the lower price. Is there a difference in 2020? Technically, there is. But will the end user see it? Let's go back and evaluate some file transfers. I've set up a test folder on a NVMe drive with several files in it, equating to nearly 100 gigabytes. First, we're going to copy that folder onto a crucial MX500 one terabyte drive. In my research, this drive claims to have DRAM as part of its architecture. One can observe the drive's performance is relatively consistent but below its advertised specs. Now we'll copy the exact same folder over to the Team Group CX2 drive. Notice that while using its SLC caching technology and no DRAM, the performance is relatively the same. Not better, not worse. And since we can, let's quickly look at the same file transfer onto the EX2 from Team Group. Again, similar performance. So which drive is the best fit for your system? At this point, the SATA drives are simply being refreshed and there are a lot to choose from. There might be something said in regards to TBW, especially for content creators, but in general, the drives are becoming more similar in performance. In my opinion, there is absolutely no reason to pay a premium for a drive where at its lowest performance, still far exceeds that of an old traditional hard disk. At the time of making this video, the price difference between a CX2 and a higher rated EX2 is minimal. Either drive will be just fine for the general user. So here, I'll ask if you have a drive from Team Group. If so, what has been your experience? Leave a comment below. This is the point in the video where I need to encourage you to hit the like button especially if you were considering this drive and found this video to be helpful. Make sure to also subscribe to the channel as I will be creating more videos in the future and possibly giving away the drives I am no longer using. As always, thanks for watching.